Hello guys, so today this is the first video of, the, of our new course about embedded systems. Uh, we are going to use the Nucleo board, okay? It's a board that uses uh, an SM32F4 microcontroller, okay? And uh, we're going to teach all those fundamentals using the embed platform. It's a new uh, platform for developing viewers for Cortex M microcontrollers, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to, uh, to follow the same uh, flow, like we go to the board and then we go to the lab and learn the new project or something new. And uh, well, this course is for you who want to learn a little bit more on how to develop stuff for microcontrollers. And uh, let's start, okay? Okay, guys, so embedded systems with embed, okay? So the embed is a, uh, is a platform, okay, for, for viewers that are going to run in the Cortex-M microcontrollers, okay? It's a project from, from ARM, okay, that uh, includes uh, a, an RTOS, uh, an online, uh, online IDE, so you don't need no tool, you don't need to install no tool in your computer uh, in theory to, to send programs to your board, okay? It's open source, is written in C and C++, okay? And uh, it's, it's a nice open source project, I mean, uh, compared to other solutions like FreeRTOS, I think you, you guys will like it most to start with Embed, okay? Uh, uh, as I mentioned here, there is no need for programming hardware, which means we're going to use the USB interface of our nuclear board to push programs, okay? To have as well the bug interface, uh, actually there is a, a microcontroller here that implements something called ST-Link, which is the, the debugging program interface for this microcontroller here, okay? Uh, today, in the lab, we're just going to do a Hello World microcontroller stuff. We're just going to create a project in the embed IDE to just uh, switch a LED on and off, okay? So guys, the first thing that we should do is that uh, before we receive, uh, we connect the board to the USB of our computer, we must install the ST-Link uh, drivers, okay? In my case, I have a uh, Windows 64-bit, uh, so I just install it, okay? And, uh, well, that's done. Uh, after this step, we must check if there is some upgrade to apply. In, a, in our board. So we come here, Windows, ST-Link Upgrade 2. We use the device connect. In this case, we don't need because uh, the version, uh, the current version and the version that you want to install are basically the same, okay? But uh, if or not, you click here, yes, okay? I can put yes here as well, we'll get the same effect. And uh, well, after this is done, that's it. This is everything that you need to do to to use the the ST link nuclear board so guys here is our uh, embedded IDE you can consider this as a kind of uh, Eclipse is a whole system that you can write your program and compile and uh, and do all this stuff and uh, uh, let's just create a simple project here okay for to use with our nucleus board so just come to new program Okay, we have some templates. Let's just use this blink LED. Okay, we just choose a name. He's already this one. He's okay. So, here is the right version. So, uh, this part here is quite simple. Okay, we just create this digital out is a whole class that uh, implement. Uh, functions in this case here is of oh, is overwriting the equal operator okay to uh, write something into uh, a binary IO port okay so just create an instance of the digital out object okay that is going to point point to port led one okay uh, here is quite simple. We just turn on the LED, wait 200 milliseconds, turn off the LED, wait more one second. Okay? Uh, how we compile this? 
quite simple. We just come here and compile, okay? After it finishes the compilation, it's going to create a bin file. And this bin file, the, this is the one of the coolest features in the in the this embed boards. You just copy the bin file to the hard drive to the to the kind of uh, memory stick that is uh, recognized when you put your board into your computer. Okay, so if you come here to my computer and we just copy to this place here, and this will do all the programming part. Uh, if you take a look now on our board, it's blinking the LED. Okay, and this more or less what we want to. Okay. So, uh, what else we could do from here? Something that we can notice here, there is no option to debug your program, okay? If you want to debug programs uh, here with the embed, you are obliged to export your program, okay? To, uh, to an Eclipse that has already all the tool chain all configured. I will teach this, uh, how to do this, in uh, probably in the next video. And uh, up to this point, you are able to, to do debug, with what they call offline debugging, okay? But to export a program, it's really simple. You just come here, export program, okay? Here we can choose, by the way, if you pay a license for KO, it's really easy. You just open the project in KO and uh, run and everything's done. But in our case, we are going to use the GCC ARM embedded, okay? Which basically is the, uh, is the GNU, uh, GNU AAB non or something like this. I will show how to, to install this guy. So basically we export and uh, he's going to create this zip file here that uh, in theory now have the your C code. Okay, I make file that will compile this if you have for sure the tool chain and everything installed. And here is actually the embed headers and the, uh, and the libs. Okay, it's like pre-compiled already. Okay, so here I just open this exported program from embed and uh, I just open a DOS command window and uh, for instance if you want to compile you just come here make okay and uh, the L file is created and uh, with th with this L file you can uh, for instance uh, push to your board with a tool called open OCD and from there it's going to create a kind of uh, GDB bridge with TCP IP, a GDB server per se, and uh, from there you can uh, actually do the bug. But we're going to probably do this in the next video. Okay, guys. So I think this is enough for a first uh, presentation about embed, at least the practical part. And uh, with the stuff that I will explain in the board, I think is enough for this video. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It. And uh, if you liked, uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, any other doubts or comments, just email me, okay?